All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I did not make a video last night, so I apologize about that. But I'll go over that today and what I did today as well. So yesterday and today. So this will be a double video. Uh, but I also got good news because after work, I stayed I stayed late after work and recorded like 15 minutes of video footage. So I'll have to just edit that video together by Monday and then get that sent off to get approved um, by the lady across the street or whatever, whoever that is who decides on whether I can post that on social media or not for whatever reason. Um, so if that gets approved, then I can show you guys everything that I've been working on for the last month or two, which will be really exciting. And I would love to share that with you guys. Um, so that's what the plan is so far. Um, but going over yesterday, I don't even really remember what I worked on yesterday. I know I was, uh, I know I tied in the circuits in the hallway. So there's the one electrical room here, the one electrical room over here. This one's actually longer. So this electrical room, this electrical room, um, and then the stairs is like right there. So um, I was um, working in all three electrical rooms actually on this on the 2M floor. Um, there's also another electric room, electrical room like way over here. Um, so there was like three pipes over here that I cut to equal lengths to match this fourth pipe. So I cut all three of these down like that. That was one really easy thing to do. And also put some Arlington's on those and then put the, the two four inch, uh, pipes over here. Um, one, one had the Arlington on it and then the other one broke. So I put the, uh, another Arlington on the four inch and the three one inchers right there. Um, so that was a really easy thing. And then, uh, I think that was pretty much it in that room, in that electrical room, I think my battery's low. So I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, this is the electrical room with the transformer. Uh, and you remember we pulled the wires down out of the ceiling. So that's the transformer, but there's basically, there was that electrical box in the ceiling, which I dismounted and pulled the wires out of that, uh, back into the hallway and got those, um, worker got those landed into the box so there was actually four of them um so we got those rerouted because they were um coming from this direction um so we pulled those back out took that box down like i said and then we got the wires coming in this direction and then the fourth one over there so i tied all these circuits in the circuit um these are the two from the other electrical room right here so I, I tied in circuits uh, one, three, five, and seven. Um, so I tied all those together, uh, made that look nice, pushed all the wires into the box, put the cover on it. And then the little uh, disconnects right here for, I think is for the elevator. I don't know, they're not for the elevator because the elevator ones are big and above it. But there's two small disconnects for something. Um, actually those are for circuits one, three, five, and seven. Um, or I don't know, one of them was for circuit something. So anyways, one of these wires goes down to here. One of these wires goes down to here. Um, so I figured out, no, I don't know. These go, these are for something different, something with the elevators, not related to circuits one, three, five, and seven. So anyways, um, something, I don't remember what these go to, but I, no, I don't know. See, anyways, I had continuity tested them. So I know that they came from, uh, one of these wires in this box actually. So I'm getting myself really confused, I apologize. But anyways, one of these wires was there, one of them was there. So I picked one of these from the disconnect and I continuity tested and I guessed it right, um, which one it was. I think it was one of the incoming ones. Um, so that would be one of these ones over here. Um, so one of those goes over there or something like that. Anyways, I continuity tested it, got them labeled P and Q. Um, and then got those, like I said, tied in. Um, and then yesterday, I really don't remember what I did after that. Um, I basically just came home and slept. So I'm getting a little bit burnt out on work just because it seems like I'm always at work because I literally work and come home and stay awake for like an hour or two, make a video like YouTube and then go to sleep. So um, I'm getting lots of sleep, but it just seems like I'm always at work. So work's really nice and easy, but it's like, I just feel like I'm always at work. So that's the only downside. Um, but anyways, other than that, yesterday, I did some other things off the list. I can't remember. Like I said, I rewrote the list. 
Um, didn't get around to the heat trace yet. Um, waiting to get back on answers on that. So um, I did something else yesterday. I don't remember. I think I did something else. But today, working in um, the other electrical room on 2M, um, the lighting on the electrical room once again. So um, I worked at three electrical rooms yesterday, and then this is the fourth electrical room, which is in front of the stairs. So the stairs is like right here. And those other electrical rooms are like here, here, and then over here. So this is the electrical room I've been working in, the one that had the two gutters right here uh, stacked on top of each other. Uh, the other electrical panels here, here, and here, and then another gutter over here on the ceiling. So working on, there's already a bunch of pipes like going across like this, and then like a bunch of pipes like going like 90s there. So um, anyways, I was working on getting this pipe out of the gutter and into the hallway right now, um, but th there is um, a really long run of pipe that needs to get done. One from this electrical room, so there's a kitchen, there's a kitchen over here. So um, I'm just gonna redraw this real quick, but hopefully my phone doesn't die. So anyways, the electrical room I'm working in right now, right here, and then the other electrical room right here. Um, and then the stairs again is like right here in, the, in between of both of those. So anyways, there's a hallway. So out of this electrical room gutter right here, I have to come out to the hallway I have to go down another hallway. So there's a hallway there. Um, there's a hallway here. This goes into the kitchen. And this goes into the kitchen. The kitchen's over here. Um, there's like more kitchen over here. Um, and another room over here. But anyways, so what I'm trying to show you guys is, um, this is getting really confusing. Um, so I'm going to draw the pipe run that I have to do in red. So I have to come out of this electrical room, which is what I was working on today, into the hallway. Um, this hallway should actually be like right here or whatever. So anyways, there's a hallway here, there's a hallway here, and then there's the other electrical room right here, which is in the hallway as well. So anyways, I have to come out of this electrical room, go around this corner, go through this wall right here. Um, and then turn the corner and through the kitchen and then go down here and then like 90 into a box right there. So I'm already pushing like 490. So I'm gonna have to put like a condolette or something in between here somewhere because I think it's gonna be a drop ceiling. So that's the only reason why that's gonna work. And then out of here, um, I have to come out of this gutter, which there's a gutter back here. And then I have to some way, somehow make my way out between all these other pipes that are already coming out or whatever right there. And same situation here, there's already a ton of pipes coming out. Um, but I got this one out into the hallway today and then I'm just gonna surface mount it. There's tons and tons of stuff on the ceiling like HVAC, um, pipe fitting and stuff like that. So I just have to make my way. I found a path and I think everything is gonna work out perfectly. Um, instead of like doing rod and stuff like that, rod and uh, mineral ax every 10 feet or whatnot, I'm just gonna shoot it to the ceiling with the uh, healthy air gun or whatever you call that um, with the nail gun um, and then one whole uh, nail straps. Um, so I'm just going to do that. It'll be easier with my coworker back on Monday. So I'm going to try to, so I got this one done, got out into the hallway today, and then I'm going to work on getting this one out into the hallway tomorrow. Hopefully that's a lot easier. Um, and then I'm going to try to save as much as possible for doing the pipe run uh, for holding up like 10 foot sticks because it's going to be more difficult to get that um, going by myself. But um, yeah, anyways, if I can get the first one going, then uh, it would the first stick up, then uh, it's not too bad, I think, if everything goes right. Uh, but anyways, I got this one out to the hallway. going to work on this one um, tomorrow. Um, but here's the pipe run going around this hallway. Turn this corner, turn this corner, and then turn this into a box down here. And that's going to have the uh, little stick. Um, stands again, the little uh, angled, the strut and the angled strut brackets um, mount that to the ceiling. Um, and it's probably gonna be facing one of those directions over there. For, and that's gonna be for the, I think it's a shunt trip. These are both shunt trips for the hood. So uh, yeah, so if like power goes out or something, then it like turn, kills the power or whatnot. If like one of the breakers trips, then it 
turns off the whole like kitchen circuit or whatever so um, that no fires can be started or something like that um, but anyways um, this one basically has to come out of the electrical room um, this is the hallway right here there's like a room over here and like a bunch of rooms over here um, I think there might even be a room over here I'm not sure but anyways I have to come out of this electrical room turn this corner down the hallway and then uh, like turn this corner and then meet up with the other pipe and those both go into the same box right there um, and there's tons and tons of stuff everywhere so uh, I basically just have to like offset around everything and four point saddle over everything and then I might even have to put a condolet in this one somewhere around here um, but it really just depends on the situation and how many bends that I have so I have to keep track of the bends but I'm pretty sure this one is going to have to have a condola, like I said, right in there somewhere or before I pass like 360 degrees. So anyways, that's what I'll be working on for the time being tomorrow until this is complete. I'm assuming this is, this could take a week, maybe it could take like two, three days, who knows. Uh, but I'm working by myself again tomorrow, working by myself today. So a coworker will be back on Monday. And that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully my phone doesn't die in the next 20 seconds, but thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Um, I got like five deliveries coming from eBay within the next like three days. Um, so by Monday I'll have like five new tools to go over, which I'm so excited about. Uh, five new tools um, and maybe even a few extra tools. I can't remember from other sites. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys right now. I got videos made through Sunday still um got all those video tags edited and um all the descriptions all that good, good stuff got all the videos completely done now so we're all caught up so i can't wait for you guys to check those out anyways that's all i got for you guys today thanks so much for watching as always if you enjoyed don't forget to drop a like and um subscribe i would appreciate it, it would help with the channel out i'd love to see you guys back in the next video make sure to follow me on instagram i've been trying to get monetized on that so i've been putting out content um and i'm been uh, working hard at that so if you want to follow me on instagram make sure to do that same exact name daily electrician and then yt at the end of it um that is terrible writing and crooked anyways that's what i got for you guys on instagram so check that out i appreciate it the more followers i get on instagram the more likely the sooner i can do giveaways and get sponsored with electrical companies and just overall um, be more useful to you guys. And, uh, that'd be super, super cool. So anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. God bless. See you in the next one. Peace.